think so. All right. Thanks for uh, being flexible on the change of venue. Sure. So just uh, reaction to the, the vote, same as it was uh, the first time around here. Yes. Right? I'm pleased that, uh, that our members stood strong, and, and uh, this is a, uh, a big day for Ohio taxpayers. It is going to give local governments uh, the flexibility they need to manage their budgets in a difficult environment. Uh, it's going to provide transparency to the taxpayers so they know how their tax dollars are being spent. Surprised at all by the, the, the gallery, yeah, I mean, the cheering, even though you told them not to a couple times? No, I mean, this, uh, you know, this is a very uh, emotional issue. Uh, I think for the most part, uh, uh, the uh, gallery was very respectful. I think I heard any number of people in the gallery trying to quiet uh, some of the individuals who chose not to uh, be respectful. But I understand the emotion, and I understand that change is very difficult, and change is hard especially if you're not familiar with the details of the bill. And so um, I, I thought the process worked. You know, they had an opportunity to voice their, uh, uh, their support or their opposition, and that's part of the process. This will go to the, the voters more than likely. Is that the big challenge next for you, is, is to let voters know what's in this bill? Well, the, 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 a few more folks going yeah. here, so. No, that's cool. Get some pretzels. Right? I didn't know you had pretzels here. Yeah. You want to come You're up welcome. Faster. You're well. My my ploy was to get a bunch of pretzels. Get you eating pretzels. You couldn't ask questions. And I told you no questions. We're gonna, we're gonna leave. So, uh, I'm sorry. Could you repeat the question? No. Yeah. I was just saying that now the big challenge appears to be now that's going to the the ballot to inform voters of what's in the bill, as you mentioned. Well, you know, that will be uh, the next step, is to make sure voters know what's in the bill. But more importantly, we want to make sure that uh, local governments know what's in the bill, because their challenge is going to be trying to balance their budget uh, in a very difficult environment. And so now they will have the tools uh, to help them uh, work uh, collaboratively with uh, their, uh, their local collective bargaining units and, and develop a, a budget that is reasonable, sustainable, uh, and will help Ohio get reestablished on a strong footing. Senator Jones, can we, uh, Senator Grandel, Senator Seitz offered what sounded like some pretty compelling arguments about why this wasn't constitutional. How do you respond to their concerns and what they had to say? Well, we believe we have a constitutional bill. The majority of the Senate believes that, as does the majority of the House. Um, while I respect the uh, opinions of, of those who um, voted against the bill, uh, we, be, we believe that we have a constitutional bill and, and one that will prevail uh, in November as well. I know this referendum idea was not yours, but um, what's in the bill? I mean, Senator Grandot basically said you can't have a situation where your fiscal officer says we can't afford what you just approved. Is that true? I mean, and if so, then <laughs> is the referendum issue just moot? I don't think it's moot, but I think we have to ask ourselves why on earth would uh, we object to the fact that we couldn't uh, have a contract that we couldn't certify that we can pay for. And so um, if, uh, as we know, we have contracts right now, cities, townships, school districts uh, are in contracts that they cannot pay for over time. And so we know that that has happened before. And so this is an ultimate taxpayer protection um, that is going to, to say that if, if a contract is going to require additional revenues that is tax increases, they have the right to decide whether or not they want to do that. Why didn't we hear, aside from Senator Jones' short statement on the floor, why didn't we hear your members making the arguments tonight again for the Well, I, I made the decision not to prolong the debate. It was a long day. We, we had an environment where uh, I think a lot of our guests in the gallery were frustrated because of the length of time between sessions. I was trying to be, be mindful of that. Uh, you know, we have made our arguments before. Our arguments uh, are the same as they were when we passed the bill the first time. And so uh, uh, I felt no need to, to rehash information that we've already discussed and, and, uh, and discussed in detail. To kind of go off Mark's question uh, about uh, one of the things that Senator Seitz brought up about uh, controlling board, uh, boards of trustees, hospital boards not being elected by the public. How do you, I mean, that was one of the things that you guys talked about with a legislative body being able to make a, a final decision in what would replace binding arbitration. How do you answer that? Well, we, we did look at that provision, and uh, we believe that that was one of the sections that uh, Senator Grindel was referencing as being unconstitutional. We believe it is. Uh, we have a legal opinion that states that, that it is. We are giving them the authority to make those decisions. Uh, and so you know, we are comfortable with that decision. Outside of it being constitutional, though, I mean, just from a fundamental 
from a policy standpoint, you know, I think he was trying to make the point that we're trying to get away from unelected people making these decisions, and now we have a bill where there are a number of unelected boards making these decisions. Is that is that counter to what what you argue as as a reason against binding arbitration? The the boards that are going to be making these decisions are the bodies that have the the uh, legislative authority and responsibility for spending taxpayer money. So we thought that they were the prudent ones or the most likely ones to. Uh, uh, to be the ones to decide how these collective bargaining agreements uh, should be paid for and how they should be settled. So we believe that is consistent. 